floss tube is carrying stitches. It's Friday the 2nd of July. And this is the third take at floss tube 100. 100. I made it. I got this far. I hope you're all well and are having a great stitchy uh, week or fortnight, depending on what video you last watched. Uh, welcome if you're a new viewer here. It's lovely to have you here with me. Uh, welcome back if you are a returning viewer. Thank you for coming back. I'm glad you did. Um, yeah. 100 videos. Who'd have thunk it? I know I've put out a few extra. I forget. I didn't look. I meant to look up how many actual videos. I think it's about 130. With some stitch with me's and floss tube extras and longer save vlogs and stuff like that. So, but 100 regular floss tube updates. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's bizarre. So stay tuned for some fun things towards the end. Right. Um, what's been happening? Oh, just remembered a phone call I need to make this afternoon. Um, what's been happening? I'm trying to think when I last recorded. Okay, last Friday, 2nd, 25th. Okay, had a wedding anniversary. Um, so I had a really good, a fantastic anniversary present from Hubby. This is kind of, this kind of all, but hey, anniversary present. Double-sided bobbin box. Couldn't be happier. I have now put all my DMC in there. So, and with all my stickers. Oh, and you can see my ring light from Quite Squirrel. I just have a few to add in. So I went through and I inventoried all of my... Um, not everything off because it wasn't uh, yeah I went through and inventoried everything and just have those to add in which basically are some of the new ones so I managed to track down so I went through obviously moved all those and went through all my whips and oh it's a stamp I thought there was a skein of DMT did all my Floss inventory. So that one's from Cyber Stitches. If anybody wants to know, uh, so I went through and worked out, made a note of every square, every skein of thread is, and what needs to be. I think there's, actually, there's, oh no, I have. I've put them in. I don't think I have, but I have. So I need, I need to get one more, and it's DMC twenty two. Uh, because for some reason Peaks I didn't have it on the website so I can grab it in Hobbycraft it's not a problem it was so I know where all my threads are and there was only one out of my regular full line I couldn't find so I need to now go through and work out what I need to restock on but you know job run of the day job run of the day so um what else have I been up to PC load of PDA, PTA stuff getting towards the end of term two of us are leaving because kids are leaving school so the school so we're having to just get stuff sorted and finish things off and fundraise without and making any social contact which is quite hard really so I've been doing that um watching a lot of tennis and a bit of football so uh England are through to the quarterfinals of the Euros um you're if you're watching this more than 24 hours after I made it you'll know how well, whether we, well you might not, you, don't, you might not care, but we'll know whether we progress in the quarterfinals matches tomorrow night. i um, got um, Dan Evans and Andy Murray playing tennis today, so I shall be sat in front of the telly, Wimbledon, it's my favourite thing, and I meant to make my coffee in my Wimbledon mug and I didn't. Uh, yeah, so, I love my tennis, I, love my, I hated it growing up. My mum watched Wimbledon every year, I loved her tennis, just every year Wimbledon. And I grew up like, oh, tennis, you know, yeah, I don't know, 12 year old or whatever, like, no, don't mind it. And then when I left home, kind of realised how much I missed watching the tennis and started get, really getting into it myself. And I've been to Wimbledon a couple of times. Um, it's amazing. Love it. If you're a tennis fan, it really is the absolute pinnacle. So we watch my tennis. Lots of cheers. Oh, come on, Andy. I get quite loud. And we've got Grand Prix this weekend as well, so it's all about the sport. That's where I'm at. Sport. For somebody who doesn't do sport, I love I like watching well, basically tennis and Formula One. And it's all happening this weekend. 
Right, that's enough about my TV watching happening. It's needless to say, Floss Tube's taken a bit of a back seat. I've watched a load recently. I've not commented on anything because that's one thing I'm really struggling with at the moment. I just tend to click play and let it run through as I do stuff. Um, yeah, so, oh, I didn't bring that whip in. Never mind. I'll save it for next time. Right, so, you, you came for the stitching, not for, that's, ba uh, that's basically the life update though. Going out for cream tea tomorrow afternoon, that'd be nice. Took Lottie shopping last weekend. We've got all the new school uniform. Well, we sort of, we got a fair chunk of the new school uniform. All like this special logo stuff and everything. So blazer and skirts and PE kit and things. Um, so I just need to get like white shirts and her tights and trainers and things like that. So kind of just more general things. Um, yeah, so. That was a big hole in the bank balance, but you know, had to be done. I can't believe she's starting senior school soon. Seems crazy. Anyway, so we're going to crack on. Right. FOs. I have well, had one finish. An FO is uh, a finished object. I've had one. And I actually started putting it together last night. So this is Sunflower Biscorno by Shiny Room. And I was stitching the back last time you saw. It's gone a bit creased now because it's been no, excuse me, shoved in the project bag, so. So yeah, so I'm just starting to put it together because I was kind of in the case of, if I don't, it'll just get left and I'm just gonna start. This is now my new swimming put together project. So it'll be finished in a couple of weeks time. I only managed to get one and a half size done. That's because we were looking at holidays for the hot band as well, fine, you know. Right, so whilst I've got this bag open, Lizzie Kate Flippets. Uh, October is that one. I don't like it at all. So, the super talented Heather Link is my homeboy. Uh, helped oh, my watch as well. Um, I forgot I took that off. Uh, helped me, well, we talked through some ideas and she uh, charted, well, not charted, she adapted a Lizzie Kate chart for me and charted it out because she's awesome so that'll fit in but that's where I'm at so I just started the pumpkin I need to rip out the top half because I put an extra row in because I'm done like that uh, the border and the October are in Jodery Designs Chains of Seasons yeah I'm gonna go with that and then the yellow is just DMC I'm really happy with how that's looking so far though so there's that what else we got whips let's just go with all the small little pouches first the pumpkins, I can't remember where we were at last time. So we've got that one is now done except for the stalk. That's stitched with either a DMC or an anchor variations, which I've actually bobbinated and put away. So and then we've got one of the other little pumpkins. I'm assuming it's that way, yeah. That stitched in um, weeks, autumn leaves. So I need to just do one more row to the top. So it's basically that bit just needs to be repeated. And that needs a stalk, which will be done in picnic basket, I think it is. Yeah. Gas picnic basket, because it was out and I was like, yeah, that'll do. So I was hoping to get these finished this month, but I just haven't had a chance to get back to them. What I've been doing with these is when I finished um, like a prompt for one of my for daily 30 and that's like maybe I've got half an hour stitching time left in the day and I'm like well, I don't really want to start anything else I'll just grab these and sit for an hour or half an hour or 20 minutes or whatever I've got so but they'll be done that this month because there's really about an hour stitching in both of them so I broke my I finally got over my Falling out with Funky Menagerie, which by Lindsay Stitches, I still only have half the chart printed out, but you get the idea. So when you last saw it, I had all of the top half, top border done, and pretty much that. So oh, I realise I've not said about fabrics. Uh, 18 count the green pumpkins oh alpha embroidery pretty pumpkins it's a free chart on their website 
Um, it's on an 18 count mystery and the Biscornu is on an 18 count um, it's probably a solo die from Sparklies it didn't didn't come named it was in a grab bag and oh Lizzie Kate 32 count star sapphire by Witch Out so back to Funky Menagerie Funky Menagerie you think I yeah 100 videos I'd be good at this by now there we go. This is on. Actually, what I'm going, I'm going to do is I'm going to do that because then you'll get. This is on. There's two count uh, chromatic al alchemy alchemy rubescent. Um, I love the fabric colour. Would not have picked pink is not my thing, but I just I don't know something about this one. Um, and I stitched the. I want to call it lantern fish. And it's not. I can't think what they're called. Stitch the fish and the beaver. Anglerfish, there you go. I stitched the anglerfish and the beaver. So I finally feel like I can get back to stitching this now. So I, you know, I fell out with it for six months and I, I was forced, I needed a project with a cat and this has a cat and I was forced to stitch on it. So I actually feel better about it now. And I'm like, yeah, this is fine. I'm happy with it again now. There's no mistakes in it though. I just kind of went, oh, burnt out. I'm getting my piles all in the muddle now. Let's go that way. So I did work some old hand and Forgot to bring it in. So it is what it is. Just shoved another 400 stitches in his coat in red. And I did a bit of black as well. But, you know, it's not a lot of difference. I'll show you next time. Cardinal points. Can't remember. So, um, I finished the border here. Oh yeah, I know what I did now. So I did that squirrely thing there, and the grapes, and that flower. So hopefully, can get a bit more work on page two of this. That's page four technically. Hundred things out. Let's have a look. Okay. So basically, you might like it's on there, and. So I'd like to try and get, start on this big urn here, that'd be good. Okay. So she'll get, she'll call for whip go for a thousand stitches. So I've shoved in a couple of prompt, um, a couple of challenges and stuff this month. So hopefully I'll put the stitching back in the project. This is a Christine project bag. Um, Yeah. Funky Menagerie is in a Sarah project, so Christine bag. Uh Sarah, no more. Lost Oh come on. You think Sarah gave him my project bag adventures? Um the things on that. Sarah's shop is linked below. Right, let's pull these two back. Okay, so I had a couple of new starts. We've got Arranging Coffee by Ink Circles. This was a, an expo release. Oh, itchy nose. My hay fever is terrible at the moment. And I'm stitching this on a, a 32 count spark. Yeah, 32 count piece of Dr. Smith's tonic by Sparkles. It's just a nice kind of warm yellowy colour. I like Dr. Smith's tonic, it's one of my favourite neutrals. So that's as far as I got. Just over 100 stitches and that's the... And I've gone with the call for colours. Except for one. Oh no, I need to order Thundercloud. So. There we go, that's, that's for that. Another Sarah bag. And then my other new start. Ah, Sarah Shop is called cool. Not Enough Whip Bags. There we go. Can't do it. Uh, another new start is Next Door by Heartstring Samplery. And Heather 
my Sharon, Heather Link is my homeboy and Sharon Sharon Stitching are stitching this as a round robin. So it's in my hummingbird, that's what they call bag. Another one of Sarah's. I love this size bag because it's perfect for me with these size charts because I don't need a hoop or anything. And this is on a solo die from Sparklies. And that's fairly true to the colour. And I'm stitching this in the called for too, which I don't appear to have bought. Oh no, there they are. So that's why I did a little start on it last night. And pretty much the called for, except I think I've swapped charcoal for blackboard because I could find that one. So, great colour scheme. Let's put the project in the project bag. So I shall probably get back on that tonight. Is that everything? Oh, I do. She knows floss. I know, floss you bitch, she knows. Probably with hay fever. Oh, that's awful. Anywho, right. Plans. Things I didn't bring in. Okay, so plans. Pretty much that pile there. They'll all be stitched on again this month. Uh, it is Christmas in July. Daily 30's got a Christmas in July. And I'm going to turn over from a June page. Christmas in July themed monthly challenge. So I'm hoping to hit all my Christmas whips. I've got four. Uh, oh, Tannenbaum, which is zombie anyway, so definitely coming out. Um, no, words. Uh, the Merry Christmas freebie from Liz Matthews. I've also got Christmas Rose by Blackbird and another new start that's coming up. So I'm hoping to get some of those. That's my plans basically. I'm also going to do my daily 30 on Christmas Rose. Uh, Blackbird Designs. What's the fabric? Okay. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm pretty much all the way across now. This is a 35 count um, linen from Sparkly's called Harvest Blush. Uh, it's fairly true to. Loving the colour. So. And I do believe I'm stitching it in. Uh, partly called for, partly my own conversion. Yeah, I think it's partly my own conversion, partly a bit of a mix. So that's it. That'll be done. Thirty minutes a day, and let's see how far we can get. Okay, let's set a target. So by the end of the month, I'd like to have gotten the alphabet done. Um, this swag and the two birds. Yeah, that's my challenge. And there's a couple of snowflakes as well. Get those done. Maybe not the. I've probably so. Yeah, that's my challenge there. Probably won't get the initials put in just yet because I haven't quite decided. My grandpa and um, my grandparents were married on the first of December. Um, in 1945 so I'd really like to change that to 1945 and somehow put their initials in here so but I haven't quite um not quite worked out how yet so yeah so that's my plan So Christmas rose. Uh, this is in uh, petal pears, is it? Petal pears bag. Never heard of them, but I won this bag, so it's a really nicely made bag. Anyway, so that's my plans. Oh, I doubt funky menagerie. That's going. That's probably going away because I've got nothing, um, no plans for that this month. So. On to um, 
such a kindness, put it away. Uh, lovely card from Sharon and a skein of sunflower because they were out of stock and I was struggling to get it for Buzz. How gorgeous is that card? Love the colours. And then a little hello card. Ooh, I'll get it. From the one and only Janet Jabber. That was nice, that was a surprise. And she sent a little uh, well, light, light yeah, 2021 charm. So that was really nice. So uh, that came this week. Strawberries, very Wimbledon. How did you know, Janet? Um, so let's move it out of the way and we'll go on to purchases. So, so I've bought my flask and then. got these for another new chart another new start so it's apple fritter steamed broccoli which I already have some of but I wasn't sure if I had enough and hick sticks I think I've got some bobinating to do this afternoon I did a load the other day so very good um, in a shell tranquil stitches bag which was a Christmas present. Oh, it's got reindeer on it, actually. I forgot about that. So I do love this bag. It feels very Christmassy autumnal. So um, uh, I purchased a Luminous Fibre Arts uh, Mystery Stitch Along. You can kind of guess, see what it is. I'm, I'm, no spoilers. I have got the first part as well done, but um, Jolly, is it Jingle Jolly Joy? So I did purchase that and the rest of the DMC. There is an un unbobinated one because I've got a tiny bit left. So, oh, how well do my threads coordinate with my project bag? Oh, sorry, itchy nose is terrible. So, there we go. So, I should be starting that. Perhaps I didn't pull fabric for it. I thought I'd pull fabric for it. Clearly, I didn't. There we go. Uh, coffee, that's what I pull fabric for. Oh, Charlie, I pull fabric. I lied. I'm going to have to do that. So, I think it's a clear week. I'm not going to stay caught up. So, that's how we're going to go with that one. It doesn't matter. It's, um, it is what it is. Right. But I will try and get that in for Jolly July. Even if it's just a bit. And the last random thing uh, is... I did a thing. I made a project bag. As you can see, it's really wonky at the top. I learnt a lot of things making this project bag. I used the Elizabeth Canso tutorial. Brilliant tutorial. Very clear, step by step. And then a little doobry of the zipper pull. From, I had an order for, a, a tiny order from Quiet Squirrel come in. And that was my freebie charm. I was like, that's perfect. I love the fabric. Let's have a look and see. Bees and strawberries. Very, very Wimbledon. Um, this is my first time inserting a zip. I am pleased with how I did it. I don't know why I was so scared of it. It wasn't that hard. Um, just got a spotty lining. Purely based on the fact that that was what I had the most fabric of that match. I've, I buy fat courses for everything and realise that they're no good for project bag making. I've got a couple of other pieces that would be big enough. This took me three hours to do. Granted, it's my first one, I'm sure I'll get quicker. But do I really want to spend three hours making project bags? The materials alone cost me nearly the same as buying a project bag. When I can have beautiful ones like the ones that Sarah makes, and yeah. And this isn't as big as a regular sized one. And so that's one of Sarah's ones which made beautifully, top stitched and everything. I did top stitch it and then I had to rip it out because my top stitching went all wrong. I broke a needle and everything. So my bag's obviously a little bit smaller. Not that much, it's about inch top and bottom, half an inch on the sides maybe. Yeah, so this is probably 14 square. My bag is probably 
12, well, maybe, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm super pleased with it. I'm really, I'm pleased I did it. I could do it again. I really could. Would I do it again? Probably not. I mean, it'll get quicker as I get, you know, more used to doing it, but, you know, do I need, I'm pleased I have the skills to do it. I'm, I'm super happy with it. I'd love to try to go to some vinyl front bags, but I don't like cutting fabric out. That's what I've learned. I hate cutting fabric out. That was the hard, cutting the fabric was the hardest bit. And I can't really sew in a straight line. It's a little bit wobbly. So, you know, it is what it is. And I'm, I'm pleased I had a go at doing it because I loved that fabric. Uh, I brought it to make project bags with. I still have a massive piece of it because I just didn't know how much it was going to take. I would if I'd had, they had another B print and I would have done the contrast bands and stuff. And I'd, I feel comfortable enough to, to kind of jig a pattern a bit of, uh, and do. But yeah, it is what it is. And I'm pleased to try. It's, I mean, it's a decent enough bag. It's fully lined, you know. My corner, oh, there's thread there, but my corners are decent enough inside. It's fully lined. It's not not horrendous I mean the, the closing I, I mean I just machine sewed the bottom because I was too busy to too lazy to whip stitch it because nobody's gonna see the bottom of a project bag and it's not even in white thread but yeah it's 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 a good project bag uh, and Elizabeth I will link Elizabeth's Conso's tutorial below because it really is a very very good one and I watched two or three and I found hers was the most step by step. Some I kind of they were like, and no, and they're not in it. And, and she was kind of actually shows you how she does everything, really, really broken down. Really pleased. Anyway, right. Looking around, thinking there must be other things, but there isn't. Except to say, one hundred subs, one hundred subs, a thousand subs, one hundred videos giveaway time. I feel like there should be at least a thousand. 100, but that should be 10 or something. 10 people will actually comment. Anyway, so, oh, there you go, 10 projects. 100, yeah, 1,000 subs, 100 videos, 10 projects, one Kerry and Stitches. There we go. Crikey, I'm losing it. Right, prizes, yours, prizes, okay. There is, um, I'm going to do two or three little prizes. There will be, I'm going to do a couple of mystery bags with, there'll be put, things I like in. There'll be a, probably a scissor fob, a bit of fabric, some floss, I don't know, a pair of scissors, stuff. Um, so we're going to have, right, let's, where's my list gone? I haven't got a pen over here. I'm going to find one of my, front of my journal. A peak side needle works one. Okay, right. Prize number one is going to be a, a gift voucher to 123 Stitch or Peakside Needle Works. Peakside Needle Crafts. Needle Crafts, even. Um, of your choice. I love shopping at Peakside. They are fantastic uh, in the UK. But if you are elsewhere, I can understand that it will be easier for you to probably order from 123. I totally get that. Um, so it does ship out, out of the UK. So, you know. Uh, peak side. Anyway, so uh, gift voucher of your um, to your a place of your choice. Stash. It's going to be called stash because you're going to get some stash, aren't you? So stash is the keyword. Okay, um, and then we'll have a mystery bag. So I'll have a bigger mystery bag, and I might do a couple of smaller ones. So a uh, mystery bag. So just put mystery bag or, or stash and or mystery will be sufficient. Mystery and I will draw some winners for those ones. We're going to leave it open a month. So you have until Frost Tube 102, which will be out. Okay, 2, 9, 16, 23, 30th of July. Um, you have until 30th of July, basically, to enter. So... That's a nice month, isn't it? There we go. 30th of July to enter. Um, 
don't comment giveaway, don't comment free, um, that kind of, uh, all those kind of keywords, don't use them. Uh, but please put stash or mystery bag. You can enter for both. Well, you can enter for both, but you will only win one. Um, be over eighteen. Be a subscriber. Like the video. There we go. I will ship internationally for a goodie bag. Uh, I don't mind where I ship to. So um, see you in two weeks for a regular update. Next week will be um, stitch with me. Yeah, stitch with me. Thank you for the love on my last video, my longest day. I love doing it. Um, I was right. Six for six videos. Uh, six videos. Six years. Please check out Joe Serendipity Stitching's blog. Um, I linked it in my last video. Um, thank you for that. Yeah, it is a lot. If you had 85 whips, it would be nigh impossible to do. But 25, gotta give it a go. It, I, I know I've, I've people that, oh, I don't know how you could. I can do it once a year. I probably could do it twice at a push. Um, but I wouldn't, I don't like, I'm, I like swap, swapping. I mean, I had 10 projects I showed you today. Two I hadn't stitched on. One was a finish. Yeah, so I've stitched on eight things in two weeks. That actually seems to look like quite a lot. Bearing in mind that the two new starts were yesterday and the day before. So I'm fairly monogamous. I'm monogamous for about three days. I like to stitch on one project for two or three days and then I'll move on. So that's how I like to do things. So that's me. Right, thanks for watching. Have a great stitchy fortnight. Stay safe, um, especially if you're suffering with um in one of the spots in north america um canada which has having these horrific heat waves which are just just mind-blowing temperatures so just stay safe and stay hydrated um i know that a lot of these areas are not built for the heat waves that they're experiencing so things like air con and stuff is just not a regular thing and even with these things like air con it just not, it's not built to withstand those kind of temperatures so and I'm sat here thinking oh might make the 70s here today and that'll be a summer's day for us so take care friends have a great stitchy fortnight and I will see you all soon bye bye